celebrating the history of its people. That's the aim of the Salt River Heritage Festival taking place in the Western Cape today. The Salt River Heritage Society is honoring the legacy of influential women who have come from the area. For more, we are joined now live with ENCA reports and Nobesutu Hejana. Nobesutu, thank you so much for joining um, me here on the show. Uh, of course, you know, Salt River being one of those areas that is so rich in history, but not a lot of people know about it, but it's so special that they're now honoring women from that area. Certainly, and in fact, in Salt River, I mean, it's not unusual where uh, murals of the people that have been celebrated in this particular area that have grown up here uh, are painted across the areas, especially in different walls. I think it was about last year where we saw the mural of Desiree Ellis where the community was also honoring um, her and we had her family um, also seeing the mural and how she's celebrated by her community. But I'm joined by Lutfi from the Salt River Heritage Society just to talk about this afternoon's um, program. Uh, Lutfi, just tell us about today. We understand you're honoring four women and who came from Salt River. Just tell us about how the society is honoring them on Heritage, well, a day after Heritage Day? Yes. Well, today we, we are, are paying tribute to four women from Salt River that was born in Salt River. The one is uh, from the 1950s, Khadija Isaacs, um, who worked at, at uh, Red Stru Form. Now, Salt River was a textile industry in the 50s and was a huge, uh, you know, people were employed here and people from all over Cape Town came to Salt River. Khadija Isaacs was responsible for securing bursaries for the local doctors in our area, Dr. Jakut and Dr. Khan and many other professionals in, in Salt River. So we're documenting that, that story and that history, that uh, community history. Then we're also paying tribute to Karima Brown who worked for ENCA, you know that, and she, she was a well-known uh, journalist, uh, but also uh, she was also, uh, you know, an anti-apartheid activist, and um, she schooled here at Salt River High, and uh, we, we're documenting that story of hers as well. And all the families of, of these four women are here, and they will present the, the, the stories. The other, the other woman that you're paying tribute to is Suraya Abbas, and Suraya Abbas, uh, she was the founder, member of a children's rights organization called Molo Sungololo and was uh, also a, a anti-apartheid activist. She was one of the uh, uh, on death row for, for, uh, for the uh, Tony Ngeni trial. And um, she used uh, the Freedom Charter, uh, you know, as, uh, you know, to, to defend herself in, in, in court. And that story is also uh, being documented. The last person is um, uh, Gladys Thomas. And uh, she's from, from in the 70s, was one of the first uh, writers whose books were banned. And she wrote poetry about uh, the group Eris Act, about forced removals and about apartheid. So those four women, you know, they, they are responsible for shaping us, for giving us our identity. And uh, we feel it's important that we must document the story. And I know that Salt River, it, it does this often, especially honoring people who have played their role in the nation building and also people who have come from here. So just tell us about the selection. How do you go about to say these are the people that we're honoring this time and all of those things? Yes, well, it, it's not, it's ordinary people. Sometimes they, they're famous, but we also, uh, you know, celebrating ordinary people. And we, we, we feel that it's important that uh, the youth, they must look at local people, people in the communities that left a legacy behind that's, that's important in building a better future and, and, and uh, fighting uh, uh, the, the problems in our, uh, in our area, yes, in our yeah. community. Uh, we, we understand that the program was made to start at around about half past one. Just tell us about the people that have been invited, um, what sort of close relations do they have with Salt River and the importance of them being here today? Yes. Well, we've invited the families of, of the four women that we're paying tribute to. Uh, some of them uh, are staying in Salt. Some of them moved, uh, like uh, Gladys Thomas. Uh, she's uh, in Ocean View and her family is here. Uh, we have uh, Karima Brown. Uh, they moved to Mitchell's Plain, but their family has, uh, also came to pay tribute. And then uh, we have uh, Khadija Isaacs. Um, uh, her her uh, daughter is still alive. She's 94. And uh, she, she, she'll be here. And then um, 
uh, Suraya Abbas, uh, her family will also be here to pay tribute, yes. Mm. And understanding that, obviously, the murals have not yet been painted on the walls. Um, today's event will just be unveiling the banners. So tell us about that process. How far are you um, getting those rights to actually paint their faces yes. in the streets of Salt River? So the process of, of having uh, uh, murals, uh, public art uh, images, is that you have to apply to the city of Cape Town for a permit, and they take up to 30 days to this, to you know for to give us permission. You also have to ask the neighbors for permission. So we've got all those in place. We've submitted it. We're just waiting for the permit from the city of Cape Town. It's a cumbersome process. Uh, we feel that being a community organization, uh, this this must be, you know, they can speed up the process. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lutfi. Well, I'm just going to try and move across the street and see if I can, with your assistance, just go to the families um, that have, are going to be honored here. I'll ask my colleague Zaid to walk with me. I understand and the camera shots might be shaky. But Lutfi, just take me to either one of the family members okay. um, that you've um, invited here so that maybe we can just talk to them about how they're feeling today about this event. And he is introducing me to Miss Karima Brown's sister. Ma'am, how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. I'm well. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Nobisutu from ENCA. I just want to find out how are you feeling that um, your sister is being honored at her home place and you that's where you also grew up it's i mean it's a great honor for karima to be honored in this way and to be remembered in this way you know karima was a great believer in watering all her roots um and and being proud of where we come from and what we have fought for in our lives and we have a rich history and salt river has a rich history and it's it's marvelous that we are that she's being acknowledged in this way as a family we are, are honored that uh, people think so highly of her. Briefly, just tell me about your, your youth days here in Salt River. What you, what did you get up to back in the day? <laughs> well, you know, um, my grandparents lived on the corner of Fenton and Pope, my uh, father's family. So we went to school at what was then known as Kipling, which was the Salt River Muslim School. Karima then went on to Wesley um, and then on to Salt River High where she matriculated in 1984. And I mean, our memories are, you know, my mother worked at a factory around the corner because, you know, this was a factory. This was an industrial hub, you know. Uh, Salt River was well known for its factories. And that's where she learned about justice and the fight for justice and the, f and the struggle is from women on the factory floor. And um, we used to travel by train. So we'd walk past here. Palace Fisheries was a favorite place to stop in for a chip roll, to eat on the train um, that we took to Harfield, um, where my mother's family lived. So, and we lived in uh, there for a while until the Group Areas Act, of course. Um, so yeah, I mean, we have a rich history. We used to go to mosque in Tennyson Road. I know there's some issues around the, the Adhan, the call to prayer um, now in Tennyson Road that people are complaining. It's something that we grew up with. Um, it's where we went to mosque. It was, and nobody cared, you know, that it was five times a day and that in summer it was at quarter to four. You know, it was, it was people's alarm. It's what makes us, it was, it was, it's what made Salt River, Salt River, you know, the different communities, the different families um, and cultures that lived here and that, um, intermingled and intermarried and stuff so yeah i mean you know we have a a long history in in, in salt river right, thank you very much ma'am uh well the program oh lutfi also Thompson. wants to introduce me to miss gladys thompson um family member how are you ma'am hi good morning i'm fine thank you i'm good thanks no visitor from enc i'll just like you to stand here just tell me also how are you feeling that um your mother is being honored here today we're very proud. As um, the family of Gladys Thomas, we're extremely proud. And we're also honored that the Salt River Heritage um, Society has included my mom. My mom was born in Salt River. She had a very strong connection to Salt River. She moved out of Salt River and then went through two, two um, group areas act removals, forced removals, first from Lakeside and then Simonstown. But um, 
with her story of her life, she never forgot her roots in Salt River. And um, she's always come back here and stories of the Woodstock Beach and being born in the Bobayan Flats, uh, which we also, she had uh, artwork done by Tyrone Apollos before, the, um, demol before they demolished those um, buildings. So yeah, she did honor her roots in Salt River, and we are very proud. All right, thank you very much for your time. Thank uh, you. We do understand that the program will start any time now, and uh, obviously, like we've heard from the two family members of the people that will be honoured here, they're very happy and excited that um, the place where their parents or where they grew up is honouring their, um, their, their part, what they played during their apartheid days, and also their continuous support and struggle uh, to ensure that the country is in a better place, but we do understand that the program uh, will start any time soon now. Thank you so much, Nobe Suto Hejana. They're reporting live in Cape Town of Salt River, of course. Um, the unsung heroes of that community, Khadija Isaacs, of course, uh, Soraya Abbas, and Gladys Thomas, and our very own late Karima Brown as well. Um, thank you so much for that lovely uh, story there, uh, Nobe Suto Hejana. And